We live? Checking. All right. I'll wait for you to give me the okay. What is going on, everybody? It is me, chef and health coach Adam Potash. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been way too long since I've been on. Um, it is Monday the 12th. 12th. Uh, we have a good dish for you planned today, some Asian pork tenderloin. I feel like a lot of people are... Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. You want to come here? Of course, you hear me. You hear me on the on the TV, and you want to come here, yeah? Oh my Say hi. Wave. No. Want to give a kiss? Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Um, so I feel like a lot of people are very intimidated by a pork tenderloin. Um, that's why I'm going to show you guys. It's actually a pretty good meat, especially if you get the tenderloin pork tenderloin part it's not as fatty so we're going to do a nice asian marinade for it doesn't take too long i got a lot of different ingredients over here some soys some balsamic uh teriyaki a little rice wine vinegar and so we're going to mix all this up together is someone here or oh, that was them oh that was them all right um we always have guests coming up here uh i thought my house would be a little less quiet today we are missing um half of our staff here yeah. they are in where are they they're in camp this way they're in kind of like a sleepaway camp really cool of them volume we're good all right um so a little less quiet in here almost like a vacation when you have half the kids here um so cool uh, maybe you guys are wondering what this thing is. My uncle brought this. It's kind of different. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. I'm not like pushing it or they're not paying me to speak about it, but it's kind of cool. It's an aloe with apple and pear, but the cool thing about it is it's got like these chunks of apple and pear in it. So it's like when you get kind of chew it and drink it too. Oh. Three. It's kind of cool. Something different. So that's what I'm drinking tonight. Um... We had so many announcements uh, since last we've been on. Farm Fresh Meals has been going crazy. So thank you very much to all my loyal customers. Um, it has really been going beyond my imagination. Um, maybe, oh, you want to go here? Um, okay. Um, so we had a grand opening last Friday, two Fridays ago. Um, I expected like 40 or 50 people, and we had, I think, over 300 people show up. So thank you so much. We had an awesome time, awesome band, awesome sponsors. I want to thank you guys all again for uh, making that happen. One of our sponsors, Stacy Norman is one. Stacy Norman, there we go. So let's plug Peaceful Mind and Body Massage. And Stacy, I need a massage. I was going to actually call you today, and I got tied up. Uh, we were in meetings most of the day, so... Stacy, I wanted to do that Thai, that Thai massage. Um, you know the one. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I'll call you tomorrow, I guess. So if you guys haven't um, heard of Peaceful Mind and Body, am I saying it right? Is there a Peaceful? East Yeah, East Delray. Second? Am I saying this all correctly? I hope so. Stacy, if I'm not, please chime in and give me the right info. Although I've been there like 50 times already. Um, so, yeah. I'll call you tomorrow for a nice massage or see when I can get in for a massage. Um, but yeah, Farm Fresh Meals. Very, very excited about this. We are growing crazy every week. Um, just want to tell you a little bit about it. It's a very cool program, all healthy, organic, um, delivered to your doorstep Monday mornings and Thursday mornings. Uh, so many options to choose from. We added, excuse me, we added biodegradable oven safe packaging last month so that was really cool really proud of that so yeah if you guys want more information more information you can go to farmfreshmealsbyadam.com or adampotash.com they will both hit you in the same direction or point you in the same direction so these are the containers this one's not working you sure oh all right so very very cool oven safe made 
up, up and safe up to 375 degrees. You can also microwave them if that's your thing. But really proud of this and that we're like moving in the right direction for a healthier, more environmentally friendly packaging. Um, here you go, under here. All right, so let's get started on this. We got a, a marinade to make. I'm gonna first start by chopping up some scallions, okay? Because when I do my cooking, just to give you an idea, I think about kind of like saving time and energy. So if I wanted to do the pork first, I would then have to go and get another cutting board and wash that off or something like that. So I'm going to do all my vegetables or all that I can first on this cutting board before doing any meat product with it. I hope that makes sense. Um, everything I do in the kitchen, whether it's here or at the industrial kitchen, it's all very, it's all very, um, you know, thought out. So, you know, we want to save time, we want to save money, and you guys should do the same thing at home. Cindy's behind the, behind the camera today. Hi, Cindy. Hi Cindy just got back from North Carolina. Yes. North, South Carolina or North Carolina? North Carolina. North Carolina. Baby. Hiking with the baby. That was cool. I really didn't. I was I was actually pretty scared. You learned something new about this. <laughs> uh, well, she hiked with the baby on her back for what five miles or so. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, again, as always, if you guys are just joining me, we're doing an Asian pork ten tenderloin. Um, Cindy is behind the camera. Can answer any of those questions or get any questions to me. So feel free to chime in as often as you'd like. Um, Again, that grand opening was awesome. Thank you, Stacy. again. I actually gave away, do you know who won the thing, Cindy? Andres won the massage. Yeah. Andres won the massage. Um, I tried to take it for myself. No, just uh -huh. kidding. No rigging. Uh, but who do we have there? That guy was awesome, too. Uh, Bill. 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 Bill was awesome. Stacy. Yeah. All right. So let's start this marinade because it's going to take a little while to cook this pork. I'll get this. What is going on? Paola's watching. Hey, Paola. Hi. Paola's one of our newest uh, newest clients. Can daughter, I... he's eating too. There you go. Thank so, you, <laughs> what's up? Um, so, Paola actually had a good question. She was looking to get meals for her daughter. So, if you have kids at home, um, she was looking to see if we have smaller portions. And my suggestion is to all our stuff is really healthy, really clean. I would get a just our normal size portion and have it for a couple of days for him or her. Um, yeah, eat eat for two days instead of one, like Cindy just said. So that was a great question that she had. I always recommend doing that. You save on money. You can't, even if you went to the grocery store, it would cost you rather than going to farm fresh meals. Everyone's like, yes. So. <laughs> no, so there's no cooking, no cleaning, no grocery shopping. You can't beat it. Yeah, and price points are between 10 and fifteen dollars. We locally source our fish. We're going shopping at farmers markets here in Delray and Boca. So, um, delivery service that we're doing. And you deliver either home or your work, whatever people prefer. And I was up. If I have like some bags under my eyes this morning, it's because I was. Do I have bags in it? Well, any more than usual. <laughs> um, I was up at three. 3 o'clock? 3.30? 3 o'clock. Um, our, our delivery driver, our normal driver, is has the flu. So yours truly went out um, all the way from Palm Beach Gardens. We're not, and we go all the way south to Western right now. So, yeah. So that was, that was my morning. Mary McMullen misses us. What's up, Mary? We miss you, Mary. I'm number one fan. Yeah. Uh, she's still following us and still liking her stuff, so that's cool. Um, so a little bit of low-sodium soy sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of teriyaki. How much? Probably about half a cup. I'm going to do probably about a quarter of a cup of the teriyaki. I really just like adding. There's no rules to cooking. There's no rules to making a marinade. I like adding just a bunch of different things that you think might go together, and chances are they probably work. Okay? So again, about a quarter cup of that, about half a cup of the soy. I'm going to add a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce, just a touch. Give it another bold dimension in there. Um, some sesame oil. So right now we have soy, teriyaki. 
Um, soy teriyaki, sesame, and Worcestershire sauce. As always, I only have a few books left, guys. Um, just for a charity event uh, that I did last Friday, last Saturday. I did a charity event, a nice dinner uh, for Kids Safe Foundation. So, um, and I gave, I sold a couple of them there or donated them or they donated them to their charity. But, um, so if you want to buy the book, it's still online, $21.95, The Secret Ingredient. People are really loving this book. I hear about it all day long. Don't get the farm fresh meals, get the book. Um, all right, so, uh, so we have a little sesame oil here, just a touch. So about a tablespoon of that. I'm going to toss in a little garlic, probably about a tablespoon of that. I'm going to hit this with a little liquid aminos. Again, just adding another dimension, another flavor to it, a couple squirts of that. Um, this will really bl br just bring out some of those other soy and sesame flavors in there. Um, rice vinegar. You are not shy. I'm not shy. Well, um, one of the things people are very shy cooking. True. So, yeah, don't be shy. And look, we're doing a couple tenderloins here. So think if you're seasoning for one portion, and this is probably – Six or seven portions, that's how much you need to season by. Hope that makes sense. Um, secret ingredient. A lot of people don't know, but balsamic vinegar is using some Asian marinades. So that one's not, not working still, huh? So you're just on me the whole time. That's, I feel bad for people. <laughs> just on me the whole time. Um, so a couple of tablespoons of that. We got our pan. Got some oil in there, and I'm going to add a little scallions to this. We'll whisk it up together. That was about it. We're going to pull this aside. I'm just going to trim this off a little bit. So some of this silver skin. I will move this bowl. The little white bowl. little white bowl. All right, so a couple pork tenderloins here. And, and actually, they're pretty inexpensive, obviously, in comparison to a beef tenderloin. So this is a great dish to change it up with. Um, it's the other white meat, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm just getting rid of some of this fatty skin. Some of up a little bit. You don't need to go too crazy. We're going to stick this right in the marinade. You can marinate this for a couple hours, but obviously due to time constraints of the show, we're only marinating it for a couple minutes, and then we're going to throw it all together. So, But you can marinate it, put it in the fridge for a couple hours. I wouldn't do it more than that. It's not necessary. Um, and then I'll show you how to throw this all together. We just made pre-made a little white rice today with that. Nothing too crazy. Again, all these dishes... Really, really simple. As you can see, I just threw some seasonings or some spices and marinades together. Takes two seconds, guys. Again, if you're not on farm fresh meals, this. All right. So cool. Just got that trimmed up. We're going to throw this in there, get it all tossed around. Got my pan heating up. Get it all. Alright, our pan is nice and hot. We got our oven preheat to about 400 degrees. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to this. No? What's going on with the views? You want me to take a look at it? All right, please hold for technical difficulty. Yeah, it should be on. Oh, it's frozen? It says active. Well, 
I'll tell you what's going on over here. How about that? Okay. So I got this heated up. Again, just a few minutes on this marinade. No big deal. Very, very hot pan. Be careful when you're putting this in. Make sure you... Can you guys see this? I'm just drizzling it off a little bit. You don't want to put too much of the ex excess liquid in there. And I'm going to save this marinade. So what I'm going to do is... Do you guys see me? You can keep it there. I'll, I'll stand over here. Um, as it's getting some color on each side, I'm going to save this marinade. Once it gets color on each side, I am going to put some of this marinade back in the pan and let it cook, get up to temperature. And that's going to still infuse the flavor of the pork with this nice marinade. Cool? As always, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up. I'm happy to answer them, whether it's on here, on social media, or you can email me, PM me, DM me, something, whatever there is, else there is out there. All right? So I've also reserved some of these scallions for garnish. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Cut a bunch. I'm going to use this for garnish. You want the book? Yeah. Maybe we show them where you got the tips on here. Yeah. Cool. All right. So this is getting some nice color. So you want to tell them about why you put these microwave tips on here? Um, so the book is filled with just a ton of tips and tricks and fun facts. Uh, it's really not just a recipe book or a um, got different kitchen terms, what you should have in your pantry, cool herbs that you want to try out. It's got tons of tons of different information. That's like my favorite part of the book. Uh, it does have a hundred recipes in there, but so much more. Did I say that right? My little, my little aloe drink. It's so weird. Like you drink and then you gotta chew. This is my favorite part of the book. There's Jacob. All right, so it's kind of got some color on each side. I'm going to throw some marinade back on top, and it's kind of going to braise a little bit now. So I'm going to throw this in a 400-degree oven. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get some vegetables going. Cool? You guys still? Oh, you're getting in the back of me. All right. So I just got some cauliflower, no big deal. Had it in the house. Get a little olive oil spray. We're going to finish this off with some sesame seeds, some of the scallions. Cool. I'm going to add a little, whoops. A little chicken stock to the to the cauliflower. I'm gonna add a little garlic. We're gonna cut this up a little bit in here. No rules today. Again, if you guys want more information about my health coaching practice or farm fresh meals, you can get it both at adampotash.com um, or oh, you got my back there. <laughs> Um, AdamPotash.com or Farm Fresh Meals by Adam.com. So either one will get you to the right place. Right? Yeah. Um, we haven't given away a book in a while, so if you are the furthest viewer, where's the book? Did I give it to you? Oh. Um, if you are the furthest viewer, we'd love to send out a book to you. If you don't already have one, I know a bunch of people who watch the show already have one, so I'd love to get a book out to you. If you don't have one already, just shoot us your information if you feel like you're the furthest viewer. Um, we've had people internationally before watching the show, um, and we sent out a book the next day, right? Yes. All right. Typically, it's someone from Miami or something. Diego's watching. What's up, Diego? Diego, you coming to the Keys with us? No. Dana is posting your website. Thank you, Dana. Oh, nice. Is Dana still traveling? What is going on? So if you're just watching me, we're doing a... There's Jacob. If you're just starting to watch... Hi, Jacob. Hi. You want... Oh, you... you want to go on camera? You want to go on camera? He loves the camera. 
Uh, we're doing an Asian pork marinade. Why are you all wet? You are soaking wet. Yeah, you are soaking wet. Thank you. <laughs> um, if you just joined me, we're doing an Asian pork tenderloin. I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by pork, but getting a tenderloin, number one, it's very inexpensive, um, and it's very easy to cook. Hi. Um, so all we did was we threw together a marinade. The marinade consisted of teriyaki, soy, rice wine vinegar, a little Worcestershire, sesame oil, garlic, scallions, and the secret ingredient that I feel no one knows about with Asian um, marinades is a little bit of sweetness. Right? They, yes? Did they hot? Yeah? All right. You want to go back outside? Okay, outside. <laughs> Go get more wet. What did you... Why did you get so wet? Um, all right. So we're just kind of like roasting these off here in this pan. No big deal. Like I said, we're going to add a little chicken stock to this. And those will help soften them a little more. Cool. It'll be just another couple of minutes. That's all it takes for the pork tenderloin. Um, and once you sear it on each side a few minutes, stick in the oven for probably another 10 minutes or so. You hear me, Jacob? Jacob's on the, Jacob's on the ones and twos. Um, just another probably 10 minutes or so in the oven. Again, we got a pretty hot temperature. That marinade we've added back to the pork tenderloin, and it's going to help um, infuse it a little more. Right, Leah? Mm -hmm. What's going on? How was camp today? Good. You want to come over here and tell people what you did at camp today? You're good. Can I tell people what you did in camp? Sure. Uh, Leah tried out something new today, which we're very proud of her. She tried out Taekwondo camp today. Right? Yeah. Did you have to bow when you went in? Yeah. yeah. When and when you left, there you go. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> the kids are all playing in the background. So we're just going to wait a few more minutes if you guys just joined me. Um, we've got the pork tenderloin in the oven. Got our roasted cauliflower on the stove top, just kind of softening that up a little bit. Sorry about some of our other cameras. I think probably maybe because um, even though we only have two kids here, they're probably got the, uh, the, the iPads going. They probably have their phones going and it's taking up some of the bandwidth, I assume. I don't know much about that kind of stuff. What's up, Brandon? Brandon just pulled his bicep. How about that? He's out of commission for probably a few months. Yeah, that's not fun at all. In the midst of opening his uh, brewery. So, all right. So, the color on them, roasting them off a little, added that flavor of the chicken stock. Check on the pork tenderloin. Ooh, you want to come see that real quick? Looking. It's looking pretty good. It's kind of like bubbling and sizzling. Let me give it a quick turn. I know Brandon probably wishes he was here right now. Give it a quick turn. Another few minutes on that. What else can I talk about while we're waiting? I feel like uh, there's been so much going on lately. Oh, Haven't... The cool bands. Oh, the, the name accents. accents. Yeah, they were very cool. Um, they were at our grand opening. If you guys missed the grand opening, again, super, super fun. Had lots of cool sponsors. What was the tequila? Maybe Dana can chime in the tequila. One Life Tequila. Organic. Organic tequila. That was cool. Um, Pure Life was there. Who else was our sponsors? I'm sorry if I'm missing. Huh? Athletica. Athletica. Athleta? Athleta. Yeah. And then uh, the, the energy drink. That energy drink was cool. Yeah. With high Dana will chime in again with all our, give our sponsors a shout out, I'm sure, again. But it was a very cool event. The news tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be on the news tomorrow. That's, yeah, that's exciting. Is that Dana chiming in? Of course it is. Uh, so we'll be on the news tomorrow. That's not annoying. <laughs> Uh, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, we'll be in the news together. What time, Dan? I think 11 o'clock tomorrow. 11 o'clock tomorrow? Yes. All right.
going to shut this off. Those cauliflower looking good. Let's get our plate ready. Probably in a few minutes that pork will be ready. Like I said, we cooked off some rice before. So I'll show you how we do that. We'll just get a little of this rice right on top. Oh, I keep, I keep on putting that bowl there, huh? I know. I can zoom in from here. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to get that pork's going to be ready in a second. So I'm starting the plate. So, yeah, channel five. Channel five. Tomorrow, 11. I hope I'm getting all this right. Uh, channel five. TV, 11 a.m. Yeah, okay. There's Rise w 31. What's that? Rise 31. Oh, Rise 31 was another sponsor. Yep. So, cool. Then I got all of them. Then I was pretty good. All right. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow, Channel 5, WPTV, 11 o'clock. They'll be featuring Barn. Let me just wash this knife off real quick, and we'll get to the plating portion. That'll be pretty cool. You see how this all comes together? Super simple dish. Don't be intimidated by... Where's my... Did they steal my towel? Um, don't be intimidated by pork. This is an easy dish to do at home. Um, Danny, you can get your husband to do this one. He likes cooking, right? Rich, good dish. If you guys like pork. All right. So let me take another quick look at this. That's hot. Need a towel. Oh, it's right there, Chuck. Where? Oh, I put it there purposely and forgot about it. All right, let's get this out. All right, this should be close to done. All right, so put it right there. We're just going to slice this pretty thin. All right, so get a couple pieces here. Right on top. Get this back over there. We are. Fitness, it's already sponsored. Yeah, I think I said them. Uh, let me get a spoon here. We're going to drizzle some of this marinade right on top. You can go right over the rice. Give it a couple good spoonfuls. I'm going to finish this off with a little sesame seed. Let me clean this up a second. All real chefs got to work clean. Right, Jacob? You're in my mind. Right, Jacob? Yes. We're going to hit it with a couple sesame seeds. Top it with a little scallion. Super simple, guys. That's all there is to it. Again, probably took, I don't know, no more than 10, 15 minutes to throw it all together. Pork tenderloin with an Asian marinade. You saw the stuff. You can mix and match any of this stuff you want. Throw more of something, less of something. Oh, I forgot our, our cauliflower. So you just take a, like a piece of cauliflower or something like that. Get a little vegetable in there. Cool. Asian pork tenderloin, guys. 400 degree oven, real simple. Throw it in the marinade for a couple hours. Hit it on a pan, hot, hot, hot. Throw some of the marinade back in. Finish cooking it. Right, Jacob? Bye. Bye. Um, and there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping to get on more often here Monday at 8 p.m. So please look forward. Uh, please look for me to get on Monday 8 p.m. Cook it up live. If you guys need more information about farm fresh meals or about health coaching, you can hit me up at info at adampotash.com or check out farm fresh meals by adam.com. You want the plate? Thank you so much, guys.
cook it up.